This is FMC Workshop. It looks like KubeDB, but it's a heavily modified version to fit the needs of FMC solvers. It supports NIST, insertions, highlighting, and many other features. In many FMC scrambles, you'll see a switch between the normal scramble and the inverse scramble. So for your convenience, automatically generated inverse scramble is here. The switch is usually denoted by opening brackets and closing brackets. So when you see an opening brackets, it will switch to NIS. And when you see a closing bracket, it will switch to the normal scramble. So let's say we are here and we see this block. And after NIS, we'll see that block just in a different position here. An important feature to go over FMC solves is to highlight specific parts of the cube that are interesting to this specific step. For example, on EO, you want to focus on the bad edges. So let's pick on the highlight EO and select the specific axis that was solved. It was the front back. And we can see one, two, three, four, five, six bad edges. So we can now follow all of these bad edges and see how in this solve they were solved. So we go forward and see F prime. This will change the state of one, two, three bad edges, and we'll have one. So this yields one, two, three, four bad edges. This bracket denotes that we're going into NIST, so all of the positions will be changed. And we can see that this bad and this bad edges is already on the F face, and one, two, three, and all of them are on the F face and another F to solve edge orientation going out of this. Same goes for domino reduction. We want to go over how it was solved. So let's select highlight and domino reduction. It was solved for the left right faces. So the red orange will be completely solved after this phase. And we just go move by move. Here, it's going to be a line solved, everything into the same layer and the quarter move that will solve the DR. So here we have red, orange, red, orange. Regarding insertions, there's an insertion here. I can see it because of the at character and the at character is equals to this string of moves. And every time there's this character, it will just be replaced with this. For example, you see here, it's the L prime for this. And let's play. And you can see the sequence is played out here. If I want to add another insertion, I'll just stack the at character equal and around the moves that I selected, let's say R U prime R, and I can insert it here, let's say, or multiple times like here. And it will just copy paste this inside there. So many times we want to go over specific cube states like here after the domino reduction or here after the edge orientation. But we cannot do it automatically because taking these specific moves will not lead us to this specific state. To do that, we need to take all of the moves that were performed on the inverse scramble, do them on a solve cube inverted to the scramble, and then do all of the moves that are performed on the normal scramble. Or we can just click here, copy state, and it will copy everything that I just said into the clipboard. So now we can use amazing tools like Sebastiano Toronto's Nisi. Thank you for creating that. And write, solve uh, the R and paste what we copied to the clipboard. And here we have F prime L F to L, which is the inverse of F L prime F to L prime. The scramble which start with R prime U prime F. So we have R prime U prime F. It ends with R prime U prime F, obviously. R prime U prime F. And F prime, which is the only move we did on the normal scramble just to easy your analysis I want to congratulate Wen and thank him for using the scramble for the world record min 
Uh, thank you to Sebastiano Tronto for creating an amazing tool like Nisi. I'm going to add a link in the descriptions. And if you have any more ideas, bug reports, etc., 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 just contact me. Thank you.